Yo, how's it going YouTube? I am JMD and welcome back to the channel and today we're actually going to be covering a, um, a Stamina 1 DPS class setup. Now this is based at more specifically new players and uh, beginner players who are sort of getting used to Stamina DPS or who's just maybe switched to Stamina and um, 1 preferably. Uh, I'm doing this because it's sort of 1's my main class so I prefer 1, it's like I do everything on a 1, I tank heal, DD, everything. Um, so yeah, let's um, get straight into the build. Now, uh, up first, we will actually do the uh, armor sets. Uh, now, compared to other people, I've done this a little bit differently. Uh, so, up first, uh, we are running the classic Hunnan's Rage. Um, five pieces of Hunnan's, obviously, uh, max stamina divines for the Mundustone effect. As you can see there. And this is where it gets a little bit different for me. Um, this is for more beginner because it's easily obtained and it can be crafted and you can get something to do it. Obviously, once you get to about CP 160 and you obviously you start to climb, you're starting to get to know people in like guilds and stuff like you can even buy it if it's crafted on the guild store somewhere. Uh, I run four pieces of innate axiom, obviously for the base stats, the maximum stamina, the weapon critical, and obviously the um, the weapon damage from the first two pieces. Uh, if you don't have a monster set at this level, um, I'm surprising you don't because obviously new players don't want to do like Vet Dungeons and Rush, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, but obviously I'm running the 5 pace 100 rage on the body with max stamina and chance obviously on all 7 paces. Now if you want to optimise this a little bit more, you can maybe do um, 2 heavy for the extra health or run a health glyph on one of the pieces of armour, um, preferably the chest for more of a big boost. Um, obviously here, these are the two, uh, the head and shoulder where the monster set will go. Then I what I've chosen to do for a little bit more damage is precise with weapon damage infused with poison damage on both of the daggers. Now, those probably produce more, um, you get more critical with daggers. Um, you can do two handed, whichever you prefer. It's the, both the same DPS relatively. Um, and obviously, you bore on the back bar with infused and weapon damage. Um, now, on the jewelry, I've run obviously the agility jewelry, which is pretty cheap. It's like one, two key a piece. Um, I might have transferred that because I couldn't find robust. This gives you. As I said, um, more flat stats, weapon damage, obviously, and then stamina recovery uh, for that. Now, if you just want to do a more optimised setup and you have obviously done a little bit of vet dungeons, like you've obviously you've dabbled a little bit of vet dungeons, you can always use Selene's. Um, Selene's on the head and shoulder. Obviously, you can see uh, mine's both medium again. Uh, one of the best traits. And then if you've got a little bit of gold, you can use Briar Heart on the jewellery. Um, for me, you can actually farm two briar heart daggers from a quest in rothgar northern i think it's like the sort of northern rothgar but i'll have the icebergs out at the top um for me this is obviously with briar heart um this is more optimized if you've got a little bit more gold obviously because it hails and um, briar heart is a still a solid set um this patch uh, obviously the extra weapon crit there more max stam weapon crit and then obviously when you deal critical damage you increase your weapon damage and uh, you heal from every sort of critical um damage that you do so it's a very overpowered set and it keeps you alive um but for the purpose of this video, um, we're going to go with uh, Innate Axiom. Um, that's obviously so, sort of like more easy obtainable, and if you've saved up a little bit of gold, it might be easier to craft or get crafted if you've just started the game. Um, so we'll jump into skills now, actually. So up first on my first bar, on the uh, the Dual World and Bar, we'll have um, Red and Slashes, that's for the bleeding damage. It's like, it's like your sort of front bar dot, basically. Um, now your singular, like obviously your direct damage attack is obviously your cut and dive. This heals when you um, you use it as well, obviously because you're a one, which is a very very good skill. I love cut and dive. Summer salt, that's just one. That's just overpowered. Um, the shark is actually a really really good skill, so make sure you do have summer salt. Uh, I've put vigor on the front bar because obviously if you're new a player, you might still be adjusting the game and get used to stamina. So it's a bit of a panic button. So obviously you're fighting summit, you just bang, you can just spam this. Um, obviously as a warden, your health goes up as well because of the uh, grain balance per. I think it's maturation, yeah, maturation. And I've put the uh, bird of prey for the minor berserk to do the extra five percent damage. And obviously if you're terrified in the fight, just run away. Um, obviously then the bear, bears of go to for a uh, warden. Then um, on the back bar we do have a uh, endless heal. That is your um, obviously your board dot. Pardon me. Uh, and then obviously we do have grown swan, which is your dot, which is actually good. I think it's on the second cast. It does um, I think it's like thirty percent more damage depending. Um, I'm pretty sure that might be the last patch. Um, it's still a good dot skill uh, for your back bar. I also run um, green lotus. 
P4 um, extra crit and it heals you as well when you do a crit damage, so it stacks pretty overpowered. Um, it's a good skill to have on one for newer players as well. If you're trying to sort of maintain a good survivability rate while still doing decent damage, then please use Green Lotus. Um, obviously, next we'll have Ice Fortress. This is to give you a uh, mana protection, so actually you reduce the amount of damage that you take uh, within the fight. Fantastic skill, it's amazing on one. Please use it. A lot of tanks run it, so in trials you don't really have to run it. Um, and obviously, the, what makes a one class is the, obviously the bull netch, uh, the stamp, stamp version, the uh, magical version, the betty netch. Um, so that is obviously the skills, passives, you know, the usual, all of your class. You want to go into your dual wield, get all of your dual wield, bow, all of the bow, uh, medium. And if you are running two pieces heavy, please make sure to get obviously the three first passive skills because these apply to any sort of piece of heavy armor that you wear. Which is always good. Vampire, um, it depends. It's more if you let it be vampire or not. I'm not really that keen. Um, Undaunted, if you don't have it yet, don't worry about it. But these give you more health and obviously more flat stats, which equals more damage. Assault, if you're new, I would recommend doing Battlegrounds when you're the first level up your character so you don't have to do it later when you struggle and you're undergeared. Um, racial. Uh, I went for Dark Elf because I like to chop and change all the time. One day I'll be Stamina, one day I'll be Magicka, one day I'll be DD, one day I'll be Hail, one day I'll be Tank. So I can never make my mind up. Um, that's just me. Obviously, you want to do your alchemy so you can get your medicinal use, which I am bored, <laughs> uh, which results in your potions being a little bit longer. And then proceed with provisioning, it adds five minutes to any food or drink uh, that you consume. So let's get into the stats. Um, as of now, I'm using Dubious because this is a cheaper food for newer players to obtain. Um, which obviously, if you've got a little bit more gold, go like Bewitch Sugar Skulls, which I'll show you in a second. Um, the Shadow for the crit damage, so you stack that crit damage. Um, they are 51.2, that's unbuffed. Uh, I don't think I've actually got the pots on this, but. Hey, that goes up to 63.2, that's, that's amazing. 3500 weapon damage, that's phenomenal. Um, as well. Obviously, these are the stats so 14.4k health, 32.9k stam. Now, obviously, this is something like that. Uh, if you want to run Bewitch Sugar Skulls, that goes up to 18k health with any 35k stam. So, that is pretty good. It's a big flat stack group. You've still got a decent amount of stamina recovery. Um, oh, that might have been why. You... <laughs> yeah, make sure to put your right, your right gear on, guys. Um, see there, Bewitch Sugar Skulls with the Jilty Jewelry there. A 39 gear stam and 1500 stamina recovery so that is pretty good it's a good flat stat so it equals more damage and you survive more if you've got um more stamina so you can use and spam vigor a little bit more um cp wise i'll just let you run through these obviously you just pause the video if you need to actually look at the cp that's why i'm going a little bit slow Obviously, and I don't claim to be the best um, build creator, so please, <laughs> you do terrible, just blame it on me, it's fine. Um, but I've had my fair share experience with Ward and Stamina classes, so. Yeah, was with a CP. Um, but yeah, guys, if you do have any suggestions or you do want to see another sort of similar build to this, or maybe for Magicka, please do let us know. Um, but please, if you do try to build, send us screenshots on Discord or. Uh, come join my guild and feel free to join my guild uh, apply here or add my name here uh, or just send us a mailing game i'll happily invite you to the guild or comment on the video below i am pcau and i play pretty much all night anyway so if anybody needs any assistance you need help with a little bit of gold that can help you out with a little bit of gold or maybe even crafting the guy i'd be happy to help so that concludes the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a fantastic day peace